on. Good evening, and welcome back to the Goldfoot Guys Podcast. Yeah, welcome to the Goldfoot Guys Podcast, everyone. This is Russ and Travis, and we have special guest, Coach Landers. Coach Landers. Thanks, guys. Appreciate y'all having me. Yes, it's yeah. exciting. We're, we're, we've been coming. wanting to do this for a while, and um, uh, we finally said, no, we got, we got to get it done. This is the middle <laughs> of football season, yeah. and uh, there's a lot of people um, that may not know you, and mm-hmm. this is our opportunity to get to know you a little better. Okay. Uh, we started a new Facebook page. Ghost Point guys. Yeah, this time it's a page. It wasn't another account. So yeah. 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 We, so, and if if you there's we're advertising this on there, and a lot of people may not yeah. have Facebook, so let them know if they want to watch. Just go to YouTube. Well, that yeah, and it's yeah. also a way that you can connect with a show better. I know yeah. email kind of thing that you don't have to do or don't normally do. A lot of yeah. people don't, um, but uh, you can email the show at gwayguys at yahoo dot com or Spotify or. Uh, but, well, you can you can listen to the show on Spotify, Spotify. and YouTube. But if you want to, uh, you know, give us more feedback, there's your opportunity on Facebook. You can just, yeah. you know, we'll post the uh, newest episode. Uh, but if you want to connect with the show, you can still email us. And also, the idea, too, uh, with a Facebook page is you can share it. You know, get more people out there and, and seeing these. This is our, our 19th, eight, 18th, 18th video. 18th, like that, yeah. yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Lost track. Yeah. 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 Somewhere in there. Somewhere. Um, <laughs> Give or take a few episodes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Travis is going to walk down a little bit about some news about what's going on in yeah. our community and school. A lot of stuff coming up. Yeah. So tell, get us informed on on. Let's we'll start off with ag news. Tom Guthrie. Okay. Uh, on the 20, well, this year to date, 32.2 inches of rain. Pretty's had the same. Yep. What? 32, 32.2 inches of rain this year. To this point? Yeah. That's, Wow. Yeah, but only like two in the last three months. Yeah. Most of that came in two days. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was, yeah. The rain came and the roads left. Yeah. <clears throat> but now, October 24th, he's got Mills County um, Landowner Program. They'll go over pesticide laws and regulations, uh, ag valuation, um, basic brush control. You can RSVP by the 22nd at Mills County Extension Office. Give them a call at 325-648-2650. Okay. Yeah, it's Tom Guthrie. Tom Dash Guthrie at Tamu, T A M U dot E D U. That has to do with Texas A&M. and M. Yeah, right. Yeah. Giggum. Giggum. No wait. <laughs> also coming up. Um, let's see. Oh, that deal there is fifteen dollars for attendees. Uh, Ten dollars if you're a botanical garden member. Um, be good to the land, and the land will be good to you. Is that, like the, is that the motto? Yeah, I made that up. Today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds right. right. <laughs> that didn't make I trust you. I'm going to go for it. All right. Treat it right. Treat it right. Just like anything. Else. Okay. Like your neighbor. Yeah. You know, right. Give yeah. your neighbor, they'll throw rocks at you. Mine does. <laughs> That's what mine does, yes. <laughs> but then, uh, we're, we're neighbors. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> That's why. <I> <laughs> and then uh, October 20, let's see, the 28th, Lamp Pass is a Mills County Range Tour. That'll be 20 bucks, 830 Uh Registration and it runs from nine to twelve o'clock. That was uh, October twenty eighth. Yeah, go for conser- uh, conservation practices uh, to enhance wildlife management. All right. R- RSVP by the twenty fourth. Go ahead. Do what now? No, that's Still good quiz? stuff. I'm. That's, uh, so where do you RSVP? Um, Land passes office at five two. Uh, let's see five one two five five six eight two four one. Okay. Or the Mills County office. Get a hold of Tom Guthrie six four eight twenty six fifty. Yeah. Yeah, any of these questions that, that you're not clear about, as Travis has given those, Tom is your, your point guy. He's Aggie. the one you need to talk yeah. to. Oh, yeah. uh, Tom Guthrie, who's at the courthouse. Yeah. Uh, if you catch him at any game, too, just about. Yeah, catch yeah. him pretty much at any game. Or walking around the courthouse putting out flags, especially on Friday. <laughs> yeah. That's when you find Friday morning. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> the Absolutely. guy's got 100 flags in his back pocket. He's Big. that guy. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, also coming up, the sheep, goat, and heifer uh, validation will be October 21st at that's, 530. That's for the Mills County Stock Show. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That'll be at the Mills County Livestock Center. Yeah, out, out there. Silvergate. Yeah. Out Silvergate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, always good. Awesome. Anything yeah. else? Uh, the rest of it's just uh, 
Oh, uh, I was going to mention Ashley Spradley does a girls' Bible class study uh, yeah. Monday morning at seven fifteen. I believe okay. in the gym. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. So Very get cool. all your girls out there and yeah, show up. Ashley's pretty cool. And and you yep. know, She's speaking good, along that, we got a wonderful FCA group. Yeah. And they're going to be playing host to uh, Field of Faith this year, October twenty mm-hmm. second. Uh, twenty second, and that's a Tuesday. Um, I'm not sure. I believe it's a mm-hmm. Tuesday. Gary Prophet Stadium. Yeah. Gates yeah. right. yeah. open at six. Yeah, it's going to be good. Um, we're we're playing. Uh, the, there's several churches involved in playing. I know uh, the, the Western Heritage Cowboy Church got a couple. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fellowship has uh, some, and then our drummer is going to be our new superintendent, yeah. uh, Doctor Doctor Bailey. Dr. Bailey, really? Yeah. He can bang a drum right. though. He's he can sing. He yeah. can actually sing. I want too. him to. I want to hear him sing. <laughs> yes, he's, he's good. Yeah. Tell him that. So we've been. So I've had to listen to it for an hour and a half of it. <laughs> oh, it's been good. <laughs> he's had to. No, he's wanted to. It's been. It's been good. So it's going to be a fun night, a good night, and there's you know community wide event. Mm-hmm. Also, stuff coming up. Um, that free garage show was talking about Church Christ the next yeah. Saturday from eight thirty to two. It's open to anybody to come. Okay. Um, trunk or treats the twenty first. There, there are things happening the twenty first or thirty first. I thought him Maddie told me twenty first. I don't know. Halloween's thirty first. Yeah, the trunk and, or treat. Would and be. well, I, I know like First it. Baptist is doing their trunk or treat the thirty first. Well, it may uh, be. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, that, and I, I probably. Think junior high has some games on that night, coach. Right? Yes, they do. Um, okay. Home they games. were playing Meridian at home. Yeah. yeah. That night. Yes. Yeah. Um, Junior high, we'll have we don't have a JV. They don't have a JV right now. Okay, okay. so it'll yeah. just be junior high games, and then I can go get some candy with my kids. There you go. Yeah. Take so all their candy. So. The game will probably start at five ish, yep. and then yeah. the seventh grade, and then the eighth grade, and who knows? They may not have. Are they have both right now? It, at this point? Yeah, this depends. You know how this season's been going with yeah different teams. small numbers. Yeah, we're we're fortunate to have a lot of participation. So yeah, it's been yeah. awesome actually. Good. So. Good. So. Yeah. We don't know exactly that night, but I know First Baptist is doing a trunk or treat, and mm-hmm. I would assume that, that I think it's all be all the same night. Yeah, you would think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. The Methodist yeah, will do yeah. do the thing. Uh, in fact, no, I think the Methodist is doing theirs on a Saturday. Well, I, I know. Uh, see, the Church of Christ is doing the uh, fifth um, fifth quarter on the twenty fifth, and Chris Bill's cooking for the music festival that weekend. Is so that's the twenty fifth. So I, I don't know if the, the trunk or treat be. I, heck, I don't know. Here I'll find are. out. Last time I wrote all my notes down on my arms and my hands and I washed them before we come up here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Hall- Halloween out here. Yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. Is uh, coming from Lubbock. It was different yeah. for my family and I. You can actually walk around houses, yeah. and that was new. We were protecting our children. I'm like, I'll just go get candy now. <laughs> yeah, sure. That was, that was a culture shock for my family and I. We're it, it was been coming there. from Lubbock. It's yeah, like you better yeah. hide them and protect them. You, know, and you go to like two houses that you know. But right. Out here, it's awesome. And so something else, the best thing. Something else to add. Go to the nursing homes. Somebody yeah. mentioned go okay. take your kids up there. Go right. nursing. I'll do that too. And wherever they can go. We do some other things around here. On the, I'm not gonna mention them on Halloween, but I need to know where your address is. Where your house no. is. No. Don't do it, Coach. I got, uh, Don't yes, it, we got um, <laughs> introduced to that last year, too. Uh, did you? Figure that. Luckily, there's only two trees at our house. But this year, I will be prepared. That's yeah. what I've been telling all the kids. But they're like, we'll come at 3 in the morning. I'm like, yeah, I'll be asleep. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. I don't know about that one. Yeah, but we'll get, did it snow midnight or night? Yeah, exactly. It's like, kids, y'all get out and clean that up. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I, know. I agree with uh, Coach that the Halloween here is second to none mm-hmm. as far as a kid. Yes. Now, again, mine have grown out of it, and it's a bummer. I so, haven't. Not well, <laughs> yeah, some of them need some schooling. Oh, just, yeah. just might, send them. <laughs> I might go around and get some candy this year. We've so. piggybacked with some. We've basically <laughs> yeah. uh, held ransom some younger families and told them, that, "Y'all, we're going with you yeah. and get us candy." And they've done well with that. So <laughs> I'm gonna borrow your stock trailer, load that sucker with kids. <laughs> yeah. and toilet that was paper. the thing too. We see out these trailers yeah. everywhere, kids yeah. and bonfires. I'm like, yeah. holy smokes! And yeah. then my kids are out there handing candy out like crazy. They, yeah. they love that more than getting it. They wanted to sit in my front yard and just hand out candy and people. I'm like, all right. That's so it was awesome. It was the greatest, it was the coolest <laughs> thing. We never. Well, let's do this. Let's do this. Since we don't know, uh, we have a Facebook page. Yeah. Let's put it on Facebook. Uh, you different churches and affiliations and different things yeah. going on. Let us mm-hmm. know what you're doing on Halloween or the weekends or wherever that close yeah. is. That way um, our, our audience and our group can know uh, what to do, when to do it. Share it away. Yeah. Yeah. That the homecoming parade was good too. Talking about candy. We messed up. Mm. Yeah. We sat there and the end there's a lot of candy. I know. And then we didn't had didn't hardly find those seats in there. But, well and and, and so <laughs> yeah. Richie, who is our youth pastor here, has got a really good strategy. He brings an umbrella. 
And it's the first time I've ever seen that. Yeah. I saw that. And it's wonderful. And and it, he makes it a game. Like he puts little targets in there. He's like, here, hit the target. Hit. And he comes up with droves of candy. Uh, but I think, yeah, we had a bad location this year. But yeah, but yeah years a, past, he's, parade, really, he's really packed it away. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it was a great parade and a great uh, week as a whole. I mean, uh, we talk about uh, the homecoming parade Tuesday and then mm-hmm. you did the, the blackout pep rally, mm-hmm. which That's was, always neat. I mean, it was yeah. packed in there. Yeah, loud. It was packed. And uh, then, um, you know, getting into uh, Thursday, uh, we kind of had a split uh, time together with uh, uh, the junior high guys or the high middle school guys oh. where seventh grade stayed here and played th- uh, Cisco. I bet that was a good game. And the eighth grade game, yeah, we went to Frost. Coach, you coached the yep. seventh and, and, and – uh, group guys with who else coaches there with you uh coach edwards and i stayed back okay because you know his son slade he plays on that team and so we stayed back we drew that stick thank goodness uh i guess (laughs) to drive to frost the coach is like we need someone to call defense i guess i'll do it you know i'll (laughs) I'll take one for the team tonight i guess sorry guys uh appreciate y'all um but yeah we we stayed back and coach those seventh graders to play cisco cisco you know is a good team they're always traditionally yeah Top to bottom, it doesn't matter. YFL, <clears throat> excuse me, junior high, JV, high school. You know they're traditionally a good football program, yeah. physical program. They're going to get under center eye and mm-hmm. run it at you, and they'll always have a tight end, a running back, a fullback. They're always going to have some kid, some level that can just do it. And our kids showed up and beat them six to zero, which right, I was loads. fired up about that. And yeah. forced two takeaways. We did defensively. And there were some times it got a little – they were driving, but we forced an interception. I think Cannon Wright got an interception. That's big. And then um, we were able to cover a fumble there. And then Ryder Deeds, he had a big fourth down stop for us as they were driving in oh, inside man. the 20. Awesome. And so talk about a defensive, which, of course, me being a defensive guy, I loved it. Shut out. Yeah. I don't care if we win 6 nothing or sure. whatever. Yeah. But, shoot, man, it, cool. was, it was awesome. So I was proud of those seventh graders and the way they fought. That was a tough physical game, and I know I yeah. saw it on their eyes. Yeah. They hadn't seen – you know, our, our – you know, we've – our districts, you know, it's it, – we've had some easier games, mm-hmm. <clears throat> obviously. So, it was good for our seventh graders to – It's good to have some good competition. Yes, there, they yeah. needed yeah. that. And I think it proved that those guys can play with anybody right now. And I think mm-hmm. I gave their confidence, too. Because, I mean, we got, I'm sure Bremont seventh grade is going to be pretty good. I mean, sure. they're, they're, you got a good high school. You probably got a good yeah. junior high, too. And I'm sure yeah. Marts and all that. And so – Yeah. You um, would assume that's was good. the case? I, I, yeah. Uh, so – Talking about the seventh graders and, and you being a defensive coach, mm-hmm. defensive minded, uh, tell you what, the last month, I don't know that these guys have put up uh, any points against Gold White. Anybody has against their seventh grade. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, I, shut up. I yeah. Think, I think our, um, our first game, well, we had a couple of, a couple of uh, well, San Saba. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had a good little running back in D that scored on us. But mm-hmm. other than that, I don't know well, that they've been scored on. Our seventh grade and our JV have. Put shutouts up since then. I think our yeah. JV actually coach Jernigan's doing an amazing job coaching those guys, yeah. um, and we take pride in that on all levels, getting mm-hmm. shutouts and not sure. allowing points. And sure. I think it's been since Junction that our JV's given up points. Yeah. And I think it's been at least since Sab, if I can remember, that our junior high or seventh grade has done right. too. Right. And our eighth grade's playing awesome too. I mean, they've I think yeah. twelve points against Chilton, mm-hmm. and I think six points against Frost. I mean, yeah. it's not like. And it's usually those – I mean, we're giving up points maybe on the eighth grade. I've noticed just early in the game we got to get used to some things mm-hmm. and adjust, and we do a good job. Kids do a great job adjusting at the yeah. end of some plays. And they're flying around, and they're physical, and most yeah. teams, they don't want to play us after about that fourth quarter. Right, so we, right. we're, we've got some really good physical kids, and that's kind of what my goal yeah. was when I got here is told Coach Howard. And we just wanted to be, go back to that way Goldthwaite was, that identity of Goldthwaite defense of being yes. the most physical team on the field. And mm-hmm. I told our kids, I don't care what level you play, it's football. The most physical team will always win the football game because mm-hmm. eventually they don't want any more of that. Most kids exactly. and, and teams don't care what level we play at. So, I've yeah. man, it's credit to the kids and our coaches. I mean – you hear that, Coach Tim Spradley? You hear that? <laughs> that's right. That's right. I know he's. He I know he's listening. Yeah. Yeah. So he yeah. he actually texted me the other day. Um, I didn't know who it was, and he just said, "Good job, congratulations, guys." Yeah. I love seeing the shutouts. 
defense. Yeah. And I was like, it's got to be Coach Bradley. Yeah. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? I just kind of figured it from there. Yeah. And I was like, thanks, Coach. Appreciate yeah, no, it. He, so just okay. trying to carry it on. Uh, and, it is, and it's working. Uh, I'll tell you, the, the the seventh grade game, who scored the touchdown for us in um, that game? Uh, Bentley Perry. Bentley. We, like, second play of the game, he took it to the house. He's okay. a special running back. He is. <laughs> um, there's not a lot of people at that, you know. And as he gets older, too, he's not just that level, but he's a special player for us. But, you know, credit, I mean, we got guys that will block. I mean, yeah. I, I talk about Troy Oaf a lot of the times in that sure. class. He doesn't get the ball a lot. He's out there at receiver. But I remember two blocks when we go for two, and he is just blocking that corner, and yeah. Bentley just gets outside of him, that you open. know, which is perfect. Yeah. You know, yeah. We praise that more that's than anything on offense, takes. you know. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, talking about physicality, though. I mean, that's just what it yeah. takes. We're physical all top, bottom. It doesn't matter what position yeah. that you're at. So. Open field blocks has got to be one of the harder mm -hmm. harder parts of the game. And, and, yeah, we do it at a pretty good level mm -hmm. um, uh, on the seventh. So, so Bentley scored a touchdown. Anybody mm -hmm. offensively in the seventh grade stood out to you throughout that game? Um, yeah, you know, <clears throat> we had some drives that kind of stalled out. But like I said, you know, Cisco's a good defense. You yeah. know, I mean, we got to give credit to those guys there. They flew around too. You know, like I said, we haven't played a defense or seen a defense that physical or that fast either lately. And so okay. – um, Flint Bridges got a couple of screen passes taken down that way. Yeah. Cannon had a good runs. Uh, good. Uh, Kenton Clifton threw the ball pretty well down there, sure. like he always does, and, and can get it to our guys out in space that need to be um, blocking. You know, we, our O line right now, they're coming off the ball really hard, and our receivers are blocking really well. I mean, we're just kind of clicking right awesome. there in all phases good. Um, offensively for that seventh grade class. And then defensively, too. You know, we got. Yeah, who's, um, who stood out there? Carson Hudspeth, sure. you know, at defensive end, he's an animal. Yeah, um, yeah. We, we make it easy for his, most of our kids at the end. Like, when the ball snaps, they just get in the B gap and go mm -hmm. create havoc. You know, we right. talk about havoc all the time on all levels. Mm -hmm. And, man, he creates some havoc and creates yeah. some problems. <laughs> and so we yeah. lined him up on their big old 33 tied in. And yeah. he took – I was like, man, that kid's a good-looking kid, and he's pretty good. But Carson rose to that challenge yeah. and took care of business for us. He's a um, step meaner. I'll tell you the kid <laughs> that impresses me that I, I love watching him play on defense is Dylan Harris. Yeah, he reminds me of me because you know I'm, I was I was about that size too. Little, little, little <laughs> seventh grade. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but he is not afraid of anybody or anything, and he will come down and hit you as hard as he possibly can, <laughs> and he gets right back up and does it again. You know, and I love that about him. And we put him at defensive end sometimes, yeah. and we call it Mighty Might. And his goal is just to get into the B gap as fast mm -hmm. as he can because he's so quick and physical. And he'll do it, and yeah. he creates havoc up there. So he's got safety, <laughs> linebacker, DN. He's like Mr. Utility, sure. and I love that. He, so he, I, I really liked that adjustment, putting him on the line in that game, the last week game. I guess who was that? Who did we play last week? Um, uh, Hubbard. Uh, uh, Hubbard, yeah, yeah, that's Hubbard. And he, I mean, he, he, together. he was just he flew in there. He was in the backfield. Before, oh yeah. And I told him, I said, listen, you, that was awesome. That was good. I said. Um, but that's not going to happen all the time. I said, I said the Ole blocking is not going to be Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So it, it's a good thing right now at this level. I know as we get older, it's probably yeah. not going to be as – as a great option every down for him, but right it, now it's it just yeah. he's just but he's a football player, you know. Sometimes you're, you're those guys that just play football and just will go play any position and just get after it. And so I, I love watching him play, yeah, specifically just flies around. Yeah. So, anyways, great. just proud of that seventh grade class. You know, I taught him last year, sixth grade as a new teacher, didn't know anything about him, yeah, grew to love them top down. I mean, they're just they're their first class all the way that class and. Um, the parents in that class done a great job raising those kids, mm -hmm. and so it makes our job easier. And so sure. I just, like I said, grown to usually when they're your first class, you grow up with them. Yeah, and yeah. Kind of yeah. keep following them and hope you keep following them. So. Bond is yep. a little stronger. I try. Uh, well, let's move into to Frost and talk about okay. eighth grade game. Uh, it was uh, well, kind of similar to Friday night. They had um, they had the one big running back that you saw Friday night. But eighth grade game, they had two pretty good sized running. I'm talking. I heard they were loads, mm -hmm. and when they got going, kind of like number four on, on varsity, <laughs> they kept going. They were hard to bring down. Yeah, yeah. Uh, guys that stood out to me uh, defensively uh, was uh, uh, gosh dog Hillis. Mm -hmm. uh, Hillis, mm -hmm. kind of yep. like you said with Levi. Dylan. Levi, he was in the backfield before <coughs> they could really get the ball and really good. get moving. Yep. Uh, I think. Uh, you know, of course, Luke is so fast. Oh yeah, east to west. We put him on that middle backer, and yeah. we say, "Go make plays." Mm -hmm. Sure, you know, it's just kind of what we. <laughs> and he did it with that man. four three system we're in right now. It just it yeah. works for some of our, a lot of our kids. Yeah. So, and, and we yep. do we don't have a lot of size as far as 
like like they did. We didn't mm-hmm. match. Of course, and again, again, we're playing probably their whole middle school mm-hmm. um, as far as uh, you know playing that game against yep. Frost. Uh, but then you know Blake Howard did, did really well in defense. Uh, moving into offense, had had some really good. Uh, uh, of course, Luke Luke, they couldn't catch him. Yeah, that's and most teams we've most, played. <laughs> there was the, really the only team yeah. that we've seen it where. Uh, he was really evenly matched would have been that Chilton game. Yeah, that Chilton running back for them, number 15, he was <laughs> yeah. he was a good player too. I mean, yeah, he gave him credit, and he yeah. did. But, yeah. you know, we ended up – Luke rose to the challenge on that, yeah. you know. Yeah. And that's – got to compliment him on that. He's, uh, like, he's one of the toughest little I – mean, and he doesn't mm-hmm. – like, I mean, you walk off – he walks off the bus, and you're like, well, then nothing – doesn't really move – turn your – you know uh, – like wow, he's going to be something. But man, he when he gets in between the lines, yeah. no stopping him sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, fools fast. Yeah, yes. uh, Blake yes. Howard uh, threw the ball well. Mm-hmm. Um, we had some good passing plays. Luke got in behind uh, the defense one time, and I think it's probably sixty yard pass. It That's was probably a, the best play sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> Luke go deep, Blake throw yeah. it up, go to work, go yes. as far as you can, <laughs> right. let him catch it. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, that that was good, and 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 just a really good balanced attack. Um, Blake is getting better and better on the read option and making the, those pulls. And, and Aiden Lee as well on varsity is doing that as well. Mm-hmm. But just to making those decisions of reading reading defenses and oh, yeah. and making those keepers and and making them play uh, play well. Uh, had a couple of passes to Andrew Arsiniano made some plays. Mm-hmm. Drew Bristol made some some two point made a two point conversion. I mean, it was it was a good effort good. across good. the board. Of course, when you throw up that many points. <laughs> <laughs> well, scoring. Yeah. Well, a lot of things are going to happen yeah. good for you. Yep. So uh, that that was kind of our eighth grade game, and then and then I had I had mother in mother duty. My mother's birthday was uh, this weekend, so uh, she came down to watch our son, and then we we went and had some dinner. So I didn't get to really watch the JV, JV game. So you want to okay. talk a little bit? Uh, that? They do what they do, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was just all around good game. They um, he's done good. You know, he's always throws good oh, yeah. and it makes good calls and stuff. And yeah. then, uh, Good blocking, you know, on the defense. They couldn't. They couldn't sure. do nothing. I saw Blaine get a <laughs> this smoke. This guy. I watched yeah. that one on film. There, there's three of them. Yeah, and then he got a pick. Yeah. Well, you know, him and Talon well, have that. Their hands are, yeah. you know, yeah. kind of still cast it. up. And I said the one-handed bandits right there. Pick. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's well, what I'm talking about. It, towards the beginning of the game, I don't so. know if it's a second kickoff or whatever. But that number seven was kind of holding on Blaine. You know, they swinging around there and shoving a little bit. And I was like, ah. Don't do that. You know, you get your chance. And then yeah. the next play, they throw it to that boy. And they laid, I mean, he didn't, yeah. didn't even hit the ground. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's what I've been talking about. At all <laughs> yeah. levels, I feel like our kids are just physical. All and we're them. winning the game. Yeah. Most teams don't want to match. Once they see that on film yeah. and they see that first quarter, they yeah. don't want to play that anymore. But, you know, I've, I've, I know what it's I, – I think as so. good as an evolving as our offense has gotten, I think you could do twice as much for yeah. our defense. JV, again, yeah. has shut them out. Right, uh-huh. I mean, but, almost its junction. That's yeah, and, and so the, I mean, you can see that on a week to week, you know, with with the younger guys, um, getting it done defensively a lot more, yeah. and and that's why another one of the reasons why we want to have you on, coach, because yeah. you are the defensive mm-hmm. coach, or and are one of them, and and you you know you see this and can can can, can answer to this, and like, mm-hmm. man, this is this is what we're seeing, this is what we're doing, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's been good. You talk about O'Tal and you know catching, it, it, kicking. Dude's yeah, oh, yeah. Blaine told me, said, man, we told him, said, dude, don't kick off. Just kick it out of the back of the end zone. So we got to run all the way down. That's right. That's right. Yeah, there's only about 13 <laughs> yeah. of them right now, yeah. 14 I, of them on JV. It's like, I, I can get a little breather. Exactly. He kicked every field goal right down Oh, the he can. Yeah. That's that's a big oh, yeah. advantage, too. I think yeah. there's not a lot of kickers at our size school, 2AD2, yeah. that we play as sub varsities that can kick as far yes. as him or consistently yeah. as he can. That's yeah. an advantage. I same, mean, with, same with Blake Howard. Blake, Blake yeah. Howard's throwing, you know, he's, he's kicking, kicking it deep. Well. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a huge advantage. I mean, I know he kicked one in the end zone last week. Yeah. And that's just, I mean, it's, back to the end zone. Yes. So. That's they, a huge advantage. They pulled off that one little play there. They snapped it to, to Hayes. He mm-hmm. pitches it to Campbell. He pitches oh, it he over to their player and throw to Blaine, and Blaine pitches it back. Yeah. yeah. And just laid it in there. A little, flea, little yeah. flea flicker. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're just players. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. All Good around. for them. That's a really smart And no, oh, Peanut, I went back and watched that video at the end of Peanut. <laughs> he's he's up and down that field with them, too. That's that fool. Oh, who is Peanut? Uh, uh, 74. Colton Craft. Yeah, Colton Craft. Colton Craft. Yeah, and then on that pick, Blaine had Peanut. 
Was he out there blocking yeah. or? No, he's oh, he's out there running down sideline. Yeah. Yes, okay. I love it. He, he's I love it. Yeah, that guy's. I love it. Hey, he was going to get a sideline block if he they're, had to. They're right. all. He was right there. Yeah. <laughs> they're all like that for each other. You I, love know? I love it. That's, yeah. a, that's yeah. a good group too. Yeah. I mean, that top to bottom, varsity, JV, yeah. seventh, eighth grade. I it's mean, we all been playing. They just yeah. been playing together, you know. Yeah. There's no egos. There's no. I mean, yeah. it's just we're here to do one job, and that's to score as many points as can and make sure they don't score one point, you know. It, and so that's you no, gotta it, love it. it yeah, all yeah. has a common goal. <laughs> and so. I will say this, uh, you know, we got a lot of flack last um, last part of school year last year because of us moving to this district and. Mm. Oh man, you guys are gonna get smoked, and yeah. I tell you well, what, it's been some, it's been so know, good to watch us yeah. have success. I, yeah, and I mean, yeah, I don't ever sugarcoat things. Bremont, yeah. Mart, yeah. Chilton at that time, they were both top three teams. They all, Mart went to state. Bremont's yeah. in the regional finals, and then Chilton could have beaten Bremont there in the regional court, uh, regional semifinals to go yeah. to regionals to play yeah. Mart. I mean, they were all yeah. right there. Yeah. And, you know, we, we were rebuilding, and we're still trying to figure – we were still trying to figure things out. And Sure. Um, but you know, I was I was taking it as, well, you know what, I know there's four teams, though, also in that district that we can compete with and have a chance to beat and get in the playoffs. You know, I was starting to look at it like that. Yeah. But, shoot, we're playing – I was telling the kids Saturday, we're playing good enough – Offensively, defense, special teams right now, all three phases. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we, we got a chance to keep making this run. Yeah. We got confidence. Let's keep going. Right. Let's you win know? district. I ain't so, got no sure. doubt about it. Let's keep going. Move Top on. down. I think so. I think to that point, too, Coach, is, um, you know, we uh, – the confidence is growing. And if you've been under a rock and you haven't watched Gulfway football, um, you, it's not too late. There's still some good ball games. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be at home this, this Thursday with junior high and – or middle school mm-hmm. um, don't have a varsity game this week, yeah, or, we or excuse me, a, a JV game or, potentially. Well, potentially. Mm, I think we, we do. do. We do. do Bremont's we? got a JV. Yeah. They got have a JV? exactly twelve, I think, is what he said. So, so yeah. we got three games this Thursday. Start, um, twelve start, quarters of football here, starting at five with seventh grade, five, and then good. you know how it goes. Yeah. You, yes. you kind of. Trickles Fifteen down. minutes after that completion, yeah. so and varsity will be before. traveling. Varsity, varsity will varsity be in Bremont. Um, no school Friday, so that'll help out a little bit. Yeah. You know, so, I'm, 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 like, I'm, like, <coughs> I'm like call in. That's right. Yeah, get a little yeah. sick yeah. too. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think I would have, but we did have school. Right, <laughs> the, we, we missed um, this last one. I'm not gonna miss more. Yeah, the, 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 the situation with Thursday nights. That's good that you cleared it up with three mm-hmm. games, coach. But you don't know what the games are going to unfold. So if if the game starts at five, which that's what's going to happen. If and it's been happening, if there's a dominating performance by Goldthwait, the clock will run the second half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you might want to get up here early for eighth grade game, or or the JV yeah. game because just show up at five and watch them all. Just watch That's them right. all. Just come to watch all of us. <laughs> Have there. Stands. Twelve yeah. quarters of football is what I say. Can't, yeah. can't go wrong with that. We try so. to make the environment as fun as we can, as 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 exciting as we can on on Thursday nights, and and pump up the crowds and get the get everybody excited. And uh, I, th- it, I think that contributes to some, to some success too. You know yeah. the support hmm. and the, yeah this the, everybody the band cheerleaders That's so. Yeah, I can. I mean, I don't. I don't want to get on rambling or anything, but I. <laughs> really. I'm new, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So on my yeah. second year, I come from. We came from Lubbock. I spent nine years at a school in Lubbock. Mm-hmm. Great school. Loved that school. We were very, very happy there and fortunate there to to be able to work my way up to be the head football coach up there. And awesome. our our kids were. I think they met you there. We had our kids there. My wife loved working there and everything. But, and and Roosevelt was great. But we didn't get the. We got support, but not like it is here. Like, yeah. I don't. I don't yeah. know if people. Some people may take it for granted. I don't know. But yeah. uh, coming from a school that doesn't get that type of support on a Thursday night, let's just talk about Thursday night sure. right now. I mean, what the support we have on Thursday night, we might have gotten on a Friday night where yeah. I come, where I was at. Yeah. You know, and so I'm, we're very y'all are, y'all are very fortunate here mm-hmm. to have that support. So kudos to you guys at yeah. town of Goldthwait and the people that just come out and support for just a seventh grade game. It's just yeah. unbelievable. It amazed me so yeah. much, yeah. and so. We're very fortunate to be part of a town now and a community like that. Yes. Where there's so many. I mean, I went to my son's flag football game mm-hmm. Saturday, and there were people there that didn't have kids there, yeah. and they were just in Brownwood to come watch. Yeah, like, sure. It was unbelievable. Yeah. You there's know? no standing was, room there. Yeah, it was <laughs> unbelievable. I was like, this is awesome. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah. that where I come from, you just have like two people there, and it's me and my wife, you know, sure. and I'm having to coach it half the time. <laughs> but yeah. like I said, Roosevelt was awesome, and it was a great place. It's just, it was just different, you yeah. know, they have a different community than it is here, and there's great people in that community. Yeah. And Roosevelt is just it was just is a different type of culture and environment, sure. you know. But like I said, it, to be if you don't know, it's very are very fortunate to have yeah. that support. A lot of teams 
will not get that type of support on Thursday night. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. So and great job, you community and town of Gulfway. And let's keep it up. Let's keep it That's up. Right. Thursday night, uh, again, 5 o'clock, set three games there. And they're all fun. They're all fun. And, and businesses uh, keep painting them storefronts. Keep, yeah. Keep putting mm-hmm. in your flags, you know. Absolutely. Support so. your local business. Support your athletes, your churches. Right. Fill the stands <laughs> and fill the pews, man. That's right. Just, That's it. That's what it's that, about. I mean, and your yeah. coaches. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Support, yeah, them <laughs> yeah, guys, Support too, us, yeah. too, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, let's, let's Anyway, let's we can get one. I didn't mean to leave you out, No, it's all right. I'm going to pass an offering around for coaches, too, in a little bit. So Let's do this. Let's take a little break, and then we'll talk about Friday night. Night. Let's talk about the game Friday night with uh, uh, against uh, Frost and, and yeah. then the pros and the, and the cons, the good and the bad, and then uh, uh, then we'll talk a little more about you, Codes, where you come from. Like you, you talked a little bit about it, but I want you to elaborate on some of this stuff. Okay. And, and um, we're, we'll go from there. All right, we'll see you in a second. Back to the Go Away Guys podcast. We are joined here by Coach Landers. Coach, what's your first name? Matt. Uh, Matt. Yes. Matt Landers. I thought that was yes. the case. Just Matthew or Matt. <laughs> if you're my mom, Matthew. Yes. But if you're everybody else, Matt. So. What about when your wife's mad at you? Uh, it's Matthew Ryan. Oh, um, Kara's mad at me. Yes. Uh, or it's just nothing. She's. Yeah. Like, I get ignored. Like, oh, that's not good. Yeah. She's I not talking silence. to me today. Yeah. So I better go figure, buy some flowers or figure out what's going on. Yeah, well, mine does have. Are you mad? Yeah. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? I better go do the dishes or something. Uh, speaking of uh, better house. Travis, you celebrated your 25th. I sure Ooh. did. Wednesday was 25th. Thanks, sir. That's why we missed the game Friday night. Was, yeah. I mean, Where'd you well, go? Possum Kingdom. I guess Possum that's an excuse yeah. to miss the game. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we listened to it. We okay, yeah. It. We, we still are there. Yeah. No. Yeah. Congratulations. That's awesome. We stayed in Airstream. Oh, cool. it was in this, yeah, it was a neat place. When you pull in there, there's a pink Cadillac hooked up to an Airstream. And then there's a Cousin Eddie mobile hooked up to an Airstream. <laughs> and then... And then we didn't see it when we booked the thing, or I would have got it. But there was a short yellow school bus back here hooked up to Airstream. Oh gosh! And uh, it's place they play hooky on the side. It, was, it was a cool bus. And then we had a Coca Cola truck hooked up to an Airstream. So like, the main part, and they were nice inside. Yeah, I mean, sure, I bet. So, anyways, it's <clears throat> one bedroom's in the trailer, and other bedroom's in the truck or the school bus. Or oh the, wow! The thing looked oh, like wow. a hearse over there. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty neat. neat. That's, yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> Deer everywhere, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had a, we had an inflatable. Uh, Coleman hot tub, but it it, it was nice. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it, was a, like, it was a redneck and a horseshoe. All right, yeah. yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. I've done everything but stood outside naked with my hat on. Oh, boy. <laughs> Tender crappers full, you know. <laughs> but no, it's, it's a pretty yeah. place. That's good. Yeah, we, we ate, ate some good food. Found a slushy machine one time. No, oh, yeah. 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 Don't, yes. don't do that, kids. <laughs> do yes. not do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, sir, Travis yeah. missed the game Friday when what yeah. a game it was. Let's uh, tell, it, tell us about it. Yeah, so Friday night they played Frost. And, mm-hmm. and Coach, uh, what did you know about Frost going in? Um, you know, I'm new to the area. Like I've talked about, I'm, I'm new to – Goldthwaite, but I'm also new to Region th- uh, yeah, Region 3, Region 4 that we're in. I've been in Region 1 for yeah. at least nine years, and I was in Lubbock, so I got to know all those schools, all those coaches, 1A to 6A. So I'm new to everything almost yeah. down here. <clears throat> so I didn't know much about Frost. I didn't mm-hmm. even know where it was, to be honest with you. Sure. No offense to Frost. I just Yeah, me either. Like when I say some teams like up there, you know, they probably don't know where that – school is right. um, like Roosevelt probably nobody knows where Lubbock Roosevelt is um, except for in Lubbock but yeah. anyway so I didn't know much about them so obviously doing our research Dave Campbell's mm-hmm. you know stuff mm-hmm. like that nice watching scouts. film yeah watching some highlights here and there um, we knew that they were going to be pretty physical. We knew they had a really big running back. We also knew they had 11 returning starters on both sides of the ball. Oh, and so really? we, they did. So, you know, they had a rough year last year, but they were young. So we knew they were going to be good. You know, some, some polls, you know, predicted them to be maybe fourth or fifth in our district. And so we knew yeah. it was going to be a tough game. 
yeah. I knew defensively for our side of the ball it was going to be really tough. I just knew tackling that guy. I mean, our, I trusted our kids. I believe in our kids, but it's not going to be easy, you yeah. know. And yeah. I knew that going into it. And we kept harping on that, and our our kids rose to the challenge. It was <laughs> it was awesome, you know, to have yeah. a group of kids like that. And so, like it I said, like he was big, not real fast. He just was hard to stop. Yeah, huh? well, he was listed as six two two forty. Yeah. So he was listed as, and I bet he was about that. You know, I always make a joke. I always say, you know, I look those guys in the eyes. Of course, you know, I'm sure, yeah. six five in my <laughs> height. Um, <laughs> that's what I tell all the kids. But anyways, yeah, you know, he he's all of that. He and he was a good player. I'm not taking anything away from him. Yeah. He's a good player. He's faster than you think he is too. I didn't think he was Where's that it? fast on film. I knew he was a little little quicker, but he just likes lower shoulder and run people over because he knows he's bigger than everybody. And yeah, so. No. But and we knew that, and we had a big challenge, and he, we, our kids rose up to that challenge. And like yeah. I said, that's a good player. I'm not taking anything away from that kid. He's a good player, and yeah. he's just starting running back, and he's that big for a reason, you I, know. Yeah. So and he was up for Mr. Texas football last week. He had a big game against Meridian too. You know, you don't mm-hmm. just get up for that for no reason. So, anyways, yeah. like I said, didn't know much going into the game except for when we started that week, really watching film and mm-hmm. kind of seeing their records. And so, defensively, that was the guy we knew we had to stop to have a chance to give us a chance to compete and win that game and so so I, I and i don't know where i got this from maybe dave campbell or something had him listed as a three-star recruit at this point <laughs> you know, whatever that means yeah we know. um we use that as some bulletin board material yeah, I guess you could say you know get our kids fired up and yeah. i said i hope he is a three-star recruit well, he's a five-star recruit you know because yeah, that shows we're a five-star defense absolutely. right there mm-hmm. so i hope he is i hope he's the best running back we see well, all year and he is. He's one of the better running backs we got in the district, one of the better ones for sure that we've seen. And so, um, man, but like I said, our kids, they rose to the challenge and were hungry to wore him down, tackle huh? him and, yeah. and, and get after him. Well, and so I was proud of him. I was, I was nervous first kickoff. I mean, this dude <laughs> grabbed it. That was off my one. fault. I'll take blame for that. <laughs> I, at the beginning of the game, I said, Coach Howard, I said, this sounds crazy. I've watched all the films. Nobody's kicked it to him yet. Yeah, I said everyone kicks it away from him. I said let's just kick it to him. Let's show our kids we ain't afraid of this guy. Sure, and let's wear him down. Let's go and hit him now and hit yeah. him early. Often, yeah. yeah. Well, talk about your all-time backfires. Yeah. <laughs> you what know? what happened? Like, oh, he, man. he ran it back on the, the no, first. No, he ran no. it back. Casey Weedlebush, <laughs> eight effort. He ran it to the three, and we missed a few tackles. But Casey chased him down and got him to three, and we stopped him the first play, and then he scored the second play. Obviously, yeah. it's hard to guy like that since yeah. he's fresh. But uh, I've. I am a risk taker on the mm-hmm. field and calling plays. I can give you tons of stories about that from being a head football coach. <laughs> I called a play one time. I called an onside kick to start. We were number we were number six at the time, and Abernathy was number two at our oh, place. I called right. an onside kick real fast. Sorry, off topic. I love it. No, we called an onside. I was like, I go, let's do an onside kick. We yeah. have it. Our special teams coach like, yeah, we got. it. I was like, what's the worst that could happen? First play, we kick it. The guy scoops and scores it. That's uh. how the game started. And I'm a huge <laughs> risk taker. End up winning the game, 56, 53. Yeah. But yeah, it was a barn burner. But yeah. I was like, that's what we get taking risks. So same thing. I just thought about that whenever I kicked him. He ran back. Yeah. I was like, well, that didn't work. Sorry, <laughs> my fault. But the rest of the night, we kicked it to him, and we were swarming him after that. And so Absolutely. proud of our kids. But just funny stuff like that. You know, you go back and hear some backstories on that, and. Um, like yeah, I said, yeah. just proud of our kids though the way they responded. So, well, let me ask you about let me ask you about this is a question I had earlier. Our defense is playing the best defense team wise um, in a long time. Um, how is how have you instilled this? I mean, how hard is it to convince players that stats will come because of the concept when they today's players just care about their own stats versus mm-hmm. you know yeah, that's team a, man, stats? That's, that's hard. That's a that's a good question. It's a hard in our society today when it's all about me, me, me. Sure. Mm-hmm. So, all right, uh, I'll tell y'all. This is it's not like a secret or anything, but uh, I mean, I, the big thing for me is brotherhood. Mm-hmm. It's brotherhood. And, and so when I was in Lubbock, one of our main themes was don't ask why, but ask where. Mm. That was our biggest motto. And I try to instill in our kids, I and mean, that's a life lesson. You know, when you're, when you're a husband, when you're a father, you don't want to ask your wife, oh, why do I have to do this? No, you ask, you ask her where. Where do you need me to help around the house? Mm-hmm. Where do you need me to, to do right. for you? Yeah. Same with my kids. Wes wants me to go throw a football or walk her with them. Mm-hmm. Okay, where do you want me to go do that? Not yeah. why. Hey, I need that's help with my homework. Well, not why, but where? Where do you need me? Do you want me to sit right here and help you? Where, where do you need me, son? So yeah, that's good. there's a scene in the town. I don't know if you've seen the movie, The oh, Town, yeah. Ben Affleck, yeah. Jeremy Renner. So yep. I show this clip every every day, every Monday and every Thursday or every Wednesday to our defense, and sometimes on Fridays, but really Monday and Wednesday to our defense. And there's a scene where Ben Affleck comes in, and he goes, Jeremy Renner's sitting on the couch. There's a scene Ben Affleck walks in, and he goes, I need your help. 
I can't tell you where we're going. I can't tell you what we're going to do, but we're going to go hurt some people. <laughs> and Jeremy Renner looks at him and he goes, who's, who's Kyle we going to take? Yeah. And that accent, who's Kyle we going to take? You yeah. know, I was like, awesome movie. Who's Kyle we going to take? So oh, well, show yeah. that to the kids and the kids love it because the whole concept is don't ask why I square. Jeremy Renner didn't ask, well, why, where, or why are we going there? Mm-hmm. Why do I have to do this? No. Just so whose car are we going to take? Where? So one of our themes, and I tell all the time to our defense, is whose car are we going to take? You know, I, I need your help. We need your help. The team needs you here. Whose car are we going to take? It doesn't awesome. matter where we're going. Yeah. I need you here. Good, your so. teammates need you here. So um, long story short, we just instilled that, you know, don't ask why, ask where. You know, because our kids have to play different positions. You know, I've yeah, had absolutely. You know, the, not as much depth as we got. You know, Luke's had to play safety, outside backer, inside backer. Mm-hmm. Um, Landry Sanderson's had to move from outside backer to safety, back down to outside backer. Hagen mm-hmm. Greenway's had to move from defensive end to middle backer to outside backer. I mean, right. we got kids all over the place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's just because of depth talent. Defensive end to outside backer. You know, mm-hmm. we just that's just because you don't have a lot of depth. And that's yeah. okay. But our kids don't ask why do I have a position? Why do we have to run this type of defense? Why do we have to run this scheme? It's where do you need me? They're tough and smart. Where do you need me? Yeah. And so that, that's the way we're able to instill that. And the second thing is it only works when you have great leaders on your defense that buy into that first. It ain't about me. I, I like to, like, I'm in the booth on Fridays and I tell the kids yeah. it's on you. Yeah. I'm just going to call it. You got to figure it out on your own Friday night because I can't do it for you. Right. You got to figure it out. Make your own adjustments until halftime. I'll come help you. Or if you got a question, I'll just help ask me. But other than that, it's just you on Friday night. I'm in the booth. Yeah. Yeah. Eating nachos with Coach Head, Figure and so uh, I hear you get kind of loud in there. Do you get kind of loud in there? No, <laughs> never. Um, <laughs> but said in the booth stays in the booth. Right? No, um, yeah, no. So I'm up there yeah. in the booth, and they're they're but um, kind of the two guys that quarterback our defense right now are Luke Sanderson and Walt Thompson. Like they sure. quarterback our defense, and they have bought into that mentality, and they make sure they hold our kids to the, that standard. And yeah. I know Hubbard's a prime example. Oh, at Hubbard, you know we're we're, we're winning pretty good, so. Yeah. At halftime, I go in there and, of course, act like I'm a little upset. Of course, they're like, huh? I'm like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I, I, they, they make fun of me because I'll, you know, I'm firing some kids. I'm like, you're fired. Get somebody else in there. You can't do it. You're gonna, I'll get someone to do it then. Yeah, That's our yeah. standard. But yeah. anyway, so I walk in. I was like, Luke, you're fired. Gary, you're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. They're like, what? I, we're up. And I was like, That's because we're taking you out of the game. We got, we're going to play our, our, our younger kids today. So, anyways, but in the locker room, we put our younger kids in and get Hubbard. Like Luke and Walt, some of our older guys were like, hey, y'all do not allow a first down. Do not give up that shutout. I mean, they yeah. wanted it. They were more yeah. worried about that. They didn't care if they had one tackle. The whole goal was you don't allow a first down because we haven't done that yet. Right. You don't allow a touchdown. That's what our standard yeah. is, and yeah. that's kind of what we're holding true. Take pride in that. So they take pride in it top down. And and when I'm not saying that and I got the kids saying that and the kids are believing in that and buying into that, yeah. that's huge. And so credit to those two for sure leading that and being the quarterback of our defense, those two, and leading the way for our kids. And so – you start building a culture like that, I mean, it goes along great ways, things yeah. can happen. You, you don't even have to – I mean, it's getting to a point now. I don't got to yeah. be out there. They can pretty much run it themselves, which is what I want. Well, so. Luke's a super – he's a super sharp kid. He's a senior. But mm-hmm. it, well, something that you know, opened my eye, though, there is, is, is Walt. You know, Walt, this is his first year on varsity. Mm-hmm. Yes. And really what he's uh, had to walk into and, and, and learn – uh, kind of like you said. It's he's still young, too. Sophomore. He's just a sophomore. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we put him at that – you know, so all offseason – last year we ran a 4-4 split, and I didn't know kind of what we had kid-wise. Yeah. didn't know what our dish – I didn't know what – I didn't know anything. So I was mm-hmm. like, let's just run this eight-man front. Let's just see what we got. Mm-hmm. So probably not the best for our kids <laughs> now that I see what kind of – what kids we got. Yeah. I was like, this is what we need to do with the teams that we're about to play. A little sport, more yeah, speed Yeah, so there. I yeah. thought, let's, we need to go to a 4-3. When you go to four three. I, I've, I know four three. I've coached the four three a lot. I believe in it. it's too high safety look too. Mm-hmm. We got the backers for it. We got the D line for it. Mm-hmm. Um, we got the safety set corners for it. We're going to do it. Yeah. Researched all all off season. Just did all my research again. Kind of got up to speed yeah. on it and did everything and put Walt in the middle backer and said, "You're a sophomore. You go get it." You yeah. know, Luke's having to play. Luke's going to play outside backer and mm-hmm. Gary Weedwish is going to play. Gary Weedwish is going to play other outside backer. And you know, we intermix. Of course, Walt's kind of been banged up a little bit. Yeah. Didn't get to play last two games, but on the sideline, he's coaching up Hagen Greenway. Yeah, you know, yeah. On, and when Hagen's going on scout team and trying to get extra reps, he's back there with me coaching up Hagen. Gotcha. I don't even have to do it, and yeah. that's the way it takes right there. Well, you, as guys cool. to coach each other up, where I can sure. just sit back and not that I'm don't want to do it. It's just no, but the culture is y'all do it. It's your right. team. I, you know, I'm always going to have a team. Hopefully, like next year, I'm going to have another team, right. and I'm going to have another team and another team. 
And the the reason I'm saying that is because it's like, this is y'all's team. Because one day we're all going to be told we can't play the game anymore. Y'all know that money ball quote. Mm -hmm. It sticks with me all the time. You know, we just don't know when we're going to be told. But we're all going to be told. So, man, y'all just embrace this moment. Of Absolutely. time that yeah. you're in, and coach each yeah. other up and and, and no, get it going. So right. and that's good, and 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 they have, and and I tell you, it's been good to watch. Like I said, it's been a really good time to be. I this is the first time since I've been in Goldthwait, and I've been here uh, almost a decade now. That that this is the best season we've seen in in that time since mm-hmm. we've been here. Yeah, that's awesome, and that's that's encouraging, and and uh, it goes to the quality of coaching and coaching staff that mm-hmm. that Howard has assembled. And it goes to uh, parents and and the quality of kids that are that are uh, playing and on the field, and then again, coachable kids, coachable mm-hmm. kids, and then it goes Amen. back to that mentality, like you said Amen. earlier, is, is man they they're supported mm-hmm. by our community and don't by forget our, to our support town. the coaches. I try right. coaches too. <laughs> so I have an offering coming around. <laughs> coaches need love. <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, so Friday night there was a, a, a probably the play of the year. Uh, yeah, it, but but you you said some things that set that up. Um, Hugo Melendez had yes. the, the best game I think I've seen him play all year, <laughs> and he's a fan favorite. I mean, he's just one of the best yes. kids you'll ever Couldn't run across. Happen to a better kid. Yeah. Was anybody on so, there oh, sitting down still? No, uh, I was up in the booth standing up. You know, I had to drop my nachos um, <laughs> for Ted's out. picking yeah. them up for me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we don't eat nachos up there. We eat hot dogs. Oh, but um, yeah. no, just kidding. Uh, yeah, he. Um, so talk about that drive yeah. as a whole because so there was a lot to set up Luke, that. Luke's the one that told me that, and I didn't even think about it until I watched film the next day. A lot of things happen and kind of mesh together sometimes, but that was Hugo's drive. Like the two plays before that, he had taken out, injured one of their linemen, like just destroyed them. Yeah. The play, bef- the play after that, that he kind of injured that lineman, he injures number four. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's the one who's just that four trying to up the middle, and Hugo Star said, boom, you know, hit, met him in a wall, and he took him down. Mm-hmm. And then that very next play, we knew they were going to throw it, and Kane Coho got through the line, got yep. a lot of pressure Pretty on him, shorty. and that kid just likes to throw it up, and he did, and it fell right in Hugo's lap. <laughs> oh, man. And he's running, and I'm screaming, hold on to the ball. Like, don't lose it. Just hold on to it high and tight. You know, I think I told Coach Howard, we got to send our D linemen through running back drills now, sure. I guess. I don't know. I don't, want, I don't want this to happen again where we lose the ball. But you see on film, there's Luke right there, like, hands out like this. And I'm like, I don't know if he's waving them on or trying to say, pitch yeah. me the ball. I don't know. But – Funny story is Luke's there, and Hugo and Luke's at film was like, "Hey, you can pitch me the ball next time." And Hugo's like, "I can do that." <laughs> <laughs> he, you know, he's not carry the ball all the time. He's like, "I just sure. my man, so let's just go tackle somebody." Yeah, you know? I'm like, I don't "That's want, right." I don't want so it's kind of funny, but no, and cool, awesome by yeah. Hugo, fan yeah. favorite. I yeah. love him. Yeah. One of my favorite kids, yeah. not because of the way he plays football. He is an yeah. awesome young man. Oh, he, is. he is a servant. We, we went to La Ha for team yeah. lunch. Quick story on him. I'm sitting there eating, everyone's eating, and he's up there serving people their plates Mm -hmm. and getting them extra drinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that's the type, he's the don't ask why, but ask where. He's that type of kid. He is a kid. And you can't ask for a better human being than him in life to be around. Mm -hmm. And so, you want to talk about a great man. We we were listening to it when that happened. And of course, on the radio, Brian and and Tybo got loud. You know, you could hear it in the background. My wife's over there crying she's yeah. they're teared up you know? yeah. it was awesome it was, it was awesome yeah. and so i was hoping he'd take it all away but we just didn't and i got i seen a picture on i guess terry took the picture the go with eagle football page and it mm-hmm. looked like everybody from the side oh yeah it was going crazy it was going that's, crazy that's nuts. we were in the press box right up right underneath coach and then calling the game and yeah it was i could do it everything i could to keep myself <laughs> yes. together yeah, it it was awesome. i was hollering and screaming yeah. i'm pretty sure i'm not i'm not supposed to be biased biased but i, I was was that time, yeah. and uh, uh, but yeah, player play of the game, uh, oh, played, by far, possibly play of the year. <laughs> yes, right now it's got my vote. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. got my vote. That one, that one, and the one Talon one handed that catch. Oh, oh, that, that yeah, was, that was special too. Yeah. The, the steel pitcher was yeah, incredible. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Incredible, yeah. So that that was a lot of what happened. Some good Friday things night. happening this year. Man. Oh yeah, yeah. Keep it going. It's right. Good stuff. It's fun. And and go. So coach, this is. Uh, I'm kind of going to break into just a little bit more kind of conversation with you, and we're trying to, not trying to keep you here too oh, late. Got, you're fine. Got all time but you need. Uh, this is your second year at, mm-hmm. at Goldthwait, and you, again, you came from the uh, Lubbock area. We did. We So, uh, yes, uh, spent nine years in Lubbock at a school called Lubbock Roosevelt. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a little 3A Division two school. Um, 
my wife. So I went to West Texas A&M to get my master's. Okay. We, Karen and I met at Howard Payne. We went to Howard Payne. We backed up a little bit. And then I went to West Texas A&M to coach football under Don Carthel and Colby Carthel. Okay. And then Carrie went to Texas Tech for law, mm-hmm. for law school at Texas Tech. So she gets a job at the DA's office there. And uh, I end up going to Brady with Coach Howard. That's how I met Coach Howard. He hired me oh, for two okay. years after yeah, WT. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then she spent some time there, and then we just kept dating, and then we got married and gotcha. moved to um, Lubbock, and okay. then spent nine years there, able to start out there as an assistant for two, defense coordinator for two, and then the last five, I was the head football coach there. Cool. And so, man, our, our family loved it. We enjoyed it. Um, got to become big Red Raider fans, Wrecking sure. Tech. Sure. Um, I saw I w- Patrick Mahomes play all the yeah, time, so talking same. about him, we were talking about him earlier. Yeah. Um, and so, we had our... Three boys there, Weston Walker and Wyatt. Uh, How old are born they? There. Uh, Weston is now eight. Walker is six. They're exactly almost two years apart. Mm-hmm. October or August twenty eighth, August twenty first, and then Wyatt. He's yeah. two, and we had January thirty first is his birthday. Oh, yeah. So yeah. we got cool. three three redheaded boys. Uh-huh. You probably see them around the games, no, uh, they're, running they're around good. and tackling each yeah, other yeah. and oh, yeah. all it. that. But yeah, so spent nine years there, and we loved it. Um, you know, enjoyed our time there. And uh, when Coach Howard got the job here, um, we spent one more year in Lubbock, and then we came that second year. Um, we just kind of, you know, Kara's from Eastland. My wife's from Eastland. Oh, okay. She's an Eastland Maverick. And gotcha. then yeah. her brother, my brother-in-law coaches, he's the offensive coordinator at Burnett right down the road. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then her younger brother, Clay, he lives in Midland. And then her dad's the First Baptist pastor at Paradise. Yeah. First yeah. Baptist Paradise, Sean Brewer. And he was in Eastland and, and Lubbock. And so... Cool. We just in my I'm from Fort Worth or from the Metroplex from Hearst, Texas, yeah. and my family still lives up there. And so it's a little easier to drive two two and a half hours than it is four cool. four and a half hours sometimes yeah. away from family. So that was a, yeah. one big reason too. We were excited about the opportunity to get here to yeah. coach in Gulf Lake. Sure. Talking so. about Easton, another not, not let's see last last night went out to eat again, and uh, uh-huh. this guy pulls up on the motorcycle. We come in there and sit, you know. And, we got to talking, and, and uh, he said, where y'all from? I said, Gulfway. He said, I'm from Eastland. I said, what year did you graduate? He said, 94. And he said, you're from Gulfway? And I ain't going to tell you what he said. He said, Oh yeah, got, yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. he was from like, when we played in '94. Yeah. You know, we was pretty good. Yeah, so. yeah. He's like yeah. not talking to you guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, one state there. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. That, that's good. And coach, so what gave you the draw to to come be a part of Goldway and what we're doing here? Uh, what was going on in your life, and what what, what kind of pulled what Lord moved you here? Yeah. What, what happened? Um. So you know, we spent nine years in Lubbock and Lubbock was great. Roosevelt was awesome. Great administration, some great people. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, we just won. We want to get closer to family. Okay. You know, it's a lot closer to get to paradise and to Fort Worth yeah, and, you know, you. with the grandkids, with my parents and her parents, you know, they yeah. always want to see them. And it's nice that they can come down on a mm-hmm. weekend and spend the weekend with us. They too, or watch the boys or the yeah. boys can go up there, whatever it needs to be. But you know, I really admired Coach Howard when we were, we were at Brady, okay. you know, and, and Kara did too, and our family admired him. And when he got that job, you know, um, that second year, he had an opening and called me, and I was like, yeah, I'd, I'd love to get the opportunity. So awesome. we were able to get down here. Kara ended up getting a job. It all kind of worked out. You know, it's yeah. funny. I was actually – I was at a – I was at a clinic in Arkansas. I'm a big Harding fan. I can talk all day about Harding University and Coach mm-hmm. Paul Simmons and his culture is just un- unlike any other. It's the best Christian culture I've been around. Yeah, um, that's long another story. But Kara says there's an opening in DA's office in Brownwood, mm-hmm. and so Kara called, and next you know she's got an interview, wow. and and it all just kind of worked yeah. out. And so, anyways, but it's a great community. You know, sure. Roosevelt it doesn't really have a community. It's got great people in it, but. Mm-hmm. It's out in the cotton field, and that was it. You know, yeah, it's yeah. between Idaloo and Slayton. If you know anything about the Lubbock area, oh, yeah. we had a schoolhouse yeah. out in the cotton fields. And it was great, but didn't really have the community. Like I said, Thursday nights here are just like Friday nights almost mm-hmm. in Roosevelt, you know. And so it was amazing just to see the support we have here and just the town, the tradition yeah. for all sports, not just football sure. and not just sports, band, ag, just mm-hmm. anything. Any extracurricular that your kids are involved yeah. in here, you get it. And so we wanted our kids to be involved in that. And then – our boys got to try mutton busting this year. You yeah. know, get that at Roosevelt. That was awesome. Yeah, you know, right. Walker loved it so much. He won ten dollars. I don't know yeah. how, and then yeah. he wanted to do it again. And so, yeah. you don't get that where we kind of came from. Sure. And so, anyways, that just drew us there. And then the people in the town, this communities, just really welcomed us. Yeah. Um, so we we can't say enough and the appreciation and the sure. gratitude that we have from well, we're, everybody out here. We're so. certainly glad to have you and and your and your wife. She's again the 
DA here as well? Uh, yes. Yeah, so yeah. she it's a joint She's county. Here. Mills and Brown are joint. So she yeah. works here on Wednesdays. And then in Brownwood, Monday, Tuesday. So she's on the prosecuting side, not the defense side. That is correct. She's a prosecutor. Yeah. So watch so, out. Well, crap. Yeah. Just, <laughs> yes. Watch out. Just so, don't tell her everything she hears about me. Is no. Yeah. True. I'll tell her not to not to listen to this either. So yeah. Don't listen to this. Yeah. But uh, no, she yes, she is. And she loves her job. She's very, very good at it. Mm. And, and she's excited to be here too. And our kids yeah. are. And so... Yeah. Um, and just a lot of extra perks though. Like I said, the Halloween thing I talked sure. about earlier, you don't get that in Lubbock, you but, know, yeah. and me and our kids, we had to walk around and we know everybody and you don't know everybody in Lubbock. It's getting big. And so oh. it was just time to move to a community in a smaller town Yeah, and it was just time. It's and a good place to raise your kids. Right? It is. It yeah. is a great place. And that's where we wanted to raise our kids is yeah. a town like Goldthwaite. And so anyways, that, that's kind of a, my life well, and why we're here now. Speaking of kids and how you, you, you know, I have a, a, a 13 year old eighth grader and a, a senior. Mm hmm. And my youngest one is certainly uh, you and him have a, a unique relationship, and you bond really well. And I think this is something I want to publicly say: you connect with kids uh, really well uh, uh, that do that very, very good. And and uh, you're a Maverick fan, and, yes, I am. And um, you know, of course, we are. Uh, me and Travis are are uh, Mavs fans for life. And, oh, yeah, and, I'm hooked yes. now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, oh, but, we talk we talk Mavs basketball yeah. about every day. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And so. So, uh, coach, uh, he Drew was really excited that you you are co- uh, coach going to be have the chance to coach him this year, and I don't know if it's going to be you or Coach Edwards. I think Coach Edwards wants to do that so he can watch his kid. I don't know yeah. how it's going to work out, but tell uh, me a little bit what's going to happen maybe after football. Yeah, well, you know, be, um, first of all, I'm going to do baseball in the spring. Yeah, um, with Coach Howard, and so that's going to be that's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, Coach Howard yeah, and I, we enjoy, team. yeah, we enjoy baseball. You know, we enjoy baseball together. And we, I coached it last year with Coach Norwood. It's kind of sure. funny story, Coach. We couldn't find an assistant baseball coach there, and Coach Howard's like, "Hey, I'm going to need you to coach baseball." This was like mm. in January or oh, December man. or something. You know, I was late. like, "So these are the duties and a sign that I mm-hmm. forgot to read the fine print on." And yes, sure. he's like, "Yeah, sorry." And I'm like, "Nah, you're good. I don't mind it. I've coached it before. Yeah. I coached it a couple years in Lubbock. You know." Um, at Roosevelt, and so, and Coach Norwood, you know, he's a good guy, he's a good sure. coach, and it was good to be around him. And yeah. you know, the thing about that too in the spring is we got a good, good gr- bunch of good kids. Yeah, not just baseball players, just a bunch of good kids, good athletes. Yeah, yeah, that that can that can coach or not coach, but that can that love to compete and love to play. And so, I'll be doing that for sure um, in January. Shoot, baseball season starts so early now; yeah, it's almost like yeah. it's snowing still. Yep. And mm-hmm. You're out there trying to throw and catch in the in the cold yeah. and. And, and all that and, and so what's going on still too yeah that's right it's, <coughs> it's crazy so and then last year i was able to coach the basketball team last year sure. in junior high sure. um me and coach norwood i think i spent like all year with coach norwood yeah, he did. <laughs> i think he me did. and andrew norwood got really close you know sure. he couldn't drive a bus and i could so i was like <laughs> come on man you gotta help me out here you know um and so but that's where i got to know drew a lot too yeah. was coaching basketball, basketball and we got to talk Mavericks a lot, mm-hmm. and of course, you know, I'm from Dallas, and you sure. grew up coaching the Mavericks, or rooting for the Mavericks, and the mm-hmm. Stars, and the Rangers, and the Cowboys, you know, yeah. it's just what you grow up doing when you live there for 18 years, Absolutely. and so, you know, we talked Mavericks, that's where I got to know them, and we just talked all the time, of course, the Mavericks made that huge run yep. this year to the finals, which was awesome to watch, you know, I was fired up we need to get Luca some defense a little bit, but well, we did, we did. <laughs> and he did, he yeah. stepped it up once they got called out on it, you know, once he did, and yeah. We talk about Clay Thompson coming to the mm-hmm. Mavericks now and a good shooter. So, anyways, so yeah, we uh, here's the thing about what I do a lot of times in the spring is just wherever they need me, don't ask why, ask where. Right? That's the go. that's the motto that I have to growing into it. Just don't ask why, ask where. Get, get so, in where they need you. That's right. Yeah, it is, it's going to be a fun year. I'm excited for Coach Howard to get to coach baseball and get to more than that be a be a fan for his kids and yeah. get to watch his girls play softball. And that, mm-hmm. that's another thing that we got to have going on in Goldthwait that, that a lot of people don't uh, maybe mm-hmm. recognize. We're going to make the playoffs in football. Mm-hmm. Uh, no doubt in my mind. Basketball. And then, yeah. you know, and that's going to, well, what I'm saying, that's going to bleed into basketball. Baseball. And then and then Try. basketball is going to mm-hmm. go real Softball. deep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. basketball is going to go probably uh, all the way through. I think yeah. the girls got a good state run in them yep. again. Yep. And, and our boys are dangerous. 
Um, so in basketball, very so, dangerous. so it's going to be exciting That's, in basketball. Yeah. Then you, you, you know, by the time you get your full baseball team. Oh yeah. You're in the district. That's yeah. Kind of what it was. But that's okay. That's the way it should yeah. be. Right. Sure. We should be playing football to December, basketball till March, mm-hmm. baseball till June. You know, you yeah. can do those three things. You're, you got some things that yeah. are going for you. So yeah. that's going to um, be exciting. But yeah, basketball season is exciting too. I, like I said, I enjoy coaching basketball and I love it and love watching, love coach head. He does an mm-hmm. amazing job. And learn some things from him. He's very wise. He's got some I'll say this. wisdom. So. I'll say this. He don't know nothing about sports. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> him and Tim Spradley. They don't know. <laughs> Coach Ed. I think Spradley's yeah. uh, his uncle, isn't he? I don't know. The yeah, I don't know. yeah, they're they're family. Yeah, okay. But yeah. Coach Head is, I believe, one of the, the best basketball coaches that I've ever been. Oh around. yeah, me too. He gets the savvy. most out of a kid. Yes. That, that and 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 talent and and the man those kids want to run through a wall for him. Oh okay. yeah, I would. Yeah. yeah. So he's, <laughs> and I was just as an assistant. Yeah. You know. So, Shoot, I love Coach Head. That's what and, it takes. Though. Yes. Uh, wonder, wonderful motivator. Great. Great strategist. I mean, mm-hmm. he just is a, in a game coach. He can make the adjustments on the fly, and can put our kids in the best opportunity mm-hmm. to win games and no compete. So, uh, we're no going to get him on the podcast, Coach Head. Your days are, are coming. Yes. Oh, yeah. I vote gonna, for him. And, and the new the new girls softball coach too. He didn't meet her. Yeah, Coach Wolf. Yeah, Coach, yep. Wolf. Yeah. Coach Wolf. Yeah. Yep. Met her the That's other day. Good, that was a good addition to our things. staff too. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, so so proximity brought you here to go through, um, but it, it kept you here because of the family and the uh, yeah. environment of the of the community. Um, and that's it. Coach. We can't thank you enough for being part of, of our community. Uh, give you a little bit of updates on what's going on again. Um, all the things that, that Travis alluded to with AG and uh, the 25th of October is the uh, uh, it's it's fan uh, it's a it's a food bank food mm-hmm. drive that will be at MC Bank uh, from eight to three, and also the shredder will be there. So if you have some documents you need to mm-hmm. uh, get rid of, uh, that'll, that'll be available on the 25th. Uh, Field to Faith will be the 22nd. They and take marriage license too. No, no, sure don't, don't, no, no, 25 years. <laughs> My wife said that's a receipt. She burned it. She said, you're not returning me. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, that, that's going on. And then, uh, the again, the fr- Thursday night football games. Uh, mm-hmm. I just got a report. The Methodist Church is going to have their their uh, Halloween festival. Uh, will, it will be the 27th. 27th. That'll okay. be this weekend or the weekend before. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I used to have to do the same time because you could go get a pulled pork sandwich here, and you could go get a yeah. hamburger here, and just oh get, yeah, it's just make a, a night eat, of it. Eat on every corner. It's the way the well, it's <laughs> okay still, with that. It's the way <laughs> Halloween fell this year. There you go. Um, Bring what? a sack. <laughs> yes, not candy <laughs> of hamburgers. <laughs> we don't, coach. We don't want to keep you much longer. Uh, you're fine. One one other question, yeah. and then we'll, we'll let you go. What's what's well, we, the, got, we got we got a uh, the cross country deal? Yeah, coming. we'll yeah. talk about that too. What's the Injury report moving into this year, this week with Hubbard, or not, excuse me, not Hubbard, but uh, Bremont. 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 Yeah. Um, Walt, we expect him to be back. Okay. So we're going to get him in practice and plan on him. I know he's been, I'll tell you something about Walt. He wants to be back. I mean, yeah. he wanted to play against Frost, and I'm like, man, if we don't have to have you play, I'm going to rest you one more week up, if we sure. can. Yeah. Came to a time we might have had to have him one time, one play, and I was like, oh. But, no, we were able to rest him another week. And I'll tell you something, that kid, he is determined. Like, he was in the training room every single day, icing that foot, getting mm-hmm. treatment on it, doing everything he could. He wanted to play, um, like – Yeah, gets over it. Huh? Yeah, just yeah. right after right after he got injured in Chilton, he wanted to play. So, mm-hmm. I know he's been dying at it. Of course – we talk about we're a team, but there's always like that fun stuff. I post the tackle charts, and everyone keeps yeah. making a little fun of him a little bit because he's like, "Oh, Walt, you're now the second. Oh, now you're the third. Now oh, you're the fourth tackle. He just keeps down. dropping down." <laughs> and Walt's like, "Ah, oh, he's getting mad." But no, nah, it, it's fun to play like that. But at the end of the day, they know. At the end of the day, it's about don't let them score. Sure. You know, and, and let's let's keep them out of the end. So if they score one, we're mad. They don't get to do it again. And sure. so, anyway, so it's going to be good to have him back on the field. Another yeah. player, another leader. On that field, that, we're waiting that's a on hard Wyatt, right? Wyatt's yeah, we're waiting on Wyatt. He's still going to be out this week. Still not sure about what's kind of the timetable on that or timeline. He's got line. an MRI Monday or yes, something, doesn't something he? like that. Okay. And so, um, but hopefully he can come back here pretty soon. That's what we're counting on. He he was starting, man. He was starting to do really really good too. Starting to figure it out. Starting yeah. to really get a feel for it. The safety spot again. And he looked really good, and man, just it hurts to lose a kid like that, a good senior like that, a good yeah. kid like that on our team and on the field that we can rely on. So, yeah. but other than that, I mean, we're we're pretty healthy. I mean, yeah. fortunately, yeah, we've been able to. But I think it goes back to I've always believed in this. I saw that when we made a little state run in twenty one with Roosevelt, 
most physical team always wins. Most physical team always stays the healthiest because we're the ones yeah. that are hitting, not getting hit. Right. You know, so, so, and so yeah. So when you keep doing that, you're going to stay healthy. And, and so yeah. I keep crediting into our kids and that mentality, and yeah. just keeping that mentality alive, and our yeah. leaders preaching that mentality. So, anyways, got a, obviously got a tough one against Bream on this Friday, yeah. and we're excited. I mean, this is what we wanted. We wanted a, a game against a top ten team in the mm-hmm. state. Mm-hmm. When we're playing really good. Um, they're very good, obviously. They're they're top ten for a reason. I don't think it's like I told our kids. You know, we got a chance to beat this to win this game. I think yeah. we can win this game. It's not going to be probably a sixty to nothing game like it's been. Yeah, I hope right. it does. That would be awesome. Yeah, it would be, sure. but like you know, like I, I don't sugarcoat things. It's going to be a dog fight. Yeah, but that doesn't mean we can't win the dog fight. Ooh, that yeah. means we're going to come out on top. It's just bad things are going to happen. How are we going to overcome them? It's just part of playing right. good football. Teams. Yeah. Bad things are going to happen on our end. Bad things are going to happen on their end. How are we going to overcome them? And so it's going to be a fun game, fun atmosphere. Get to play on some turf. <laughs> Bremont's yeah. got turf, so yeah, that should be good. Nice Weather's place. starting to get a little cooler, I feel like, except for yeah. tomorrow. But still, still, yeah. Yeah. Today but, it was miserable. Yeah, too. so anyways, it's going to be a fun game. Fun the, Friday night. Uh, yeah, Friday it will be there. Again, Thursday will be here. Mm-hmm. Uh, old adage I had told my kids uh, on that is not getting hurt. Be the hammer, not the nail. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Uh, but yeah, gonna gonna, It's going to be in the 80s for a high. So yeah, it's, low there you go. Here's so, what yeah. we can do, though. There is no school Friday. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and There's uh, plenty of people going that's got room for spares. Huh? That's so right. you need to ride, just holler. There we're, you go. We're, I'll, I'll load you up. There we're you go. going. Uh, <laughs> yes. uh, bristles are going. Uh, the halls are going. I mean, it, we need to pack that place out. Yeah. The yeah. landers will be there. The, I don't know if you're going to ride in the car with the two red hits, three red hits. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I, I like, enjoy yeah. watching them. Oh, yeah, uh, gosh. That, that other little yeah. Howard yeah. Hammerhead. Oh, oh yeah. Grant. They play with Grant. Oh, man. It's fun. They're going to paint the town one day. Just wait until they get up there. That's what I said. It's going to be. Oh, here's the landers. Fun. What we what we can do though is we can make this like a home game there, and yeah. and we can pack our stands out, and we can and change the uh, atmosphere for our guys. Because, Last one out, turn the lights off. Here's the thing: uh, this to me is the district championship. Uh, you got to get by this before you can get to Mark. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just one more yeah. step in that direction. So and we play Bremont so. and then Mark next. No, we go Bremont. Well, I'll say this: three of our last four. I mean, they're all going to be good. Meridian's yeah. not going to be. I mean, Meridian's good. I don't, I don't ever want to dog down a team, but sure. they're not as tough as Bremont and where them yeah. and Mart are going to be. Our three of our last Wortham. four are going to be are really tough games. And yeah. here's the way: you know, where them plays Chilton too, and Bremont has to play Chilton. Mm-hmm. And I mean, we've mm-hmm. already beat Chilton, but. These next two weeks, actually, three weeks, are going to decide a lot of things That's right. That's coming right. up. But here's the deal. You just win. It doesn't That's matter right. what anybody else does yeah. as That's long right. as you just win. It doesn't matter if you win 100 to 99. Yep. There are no style points in high school football. It's Good. wins and losses. So That's right. find a way to get in that W column, and it yep. doesn't matter what anybody else does. They yep. can they do what they need to do. You control That's your right. own destiny. Exactly. We control our own destiny yeah, still. And that's, so. that's what we want. And so that's what we want, uh, go to wait uh, – uh, community and fans is is we need to pack the house um, get there early and get there rowdy and, and proud and loud and uh let them let them know that that we're we're going to win this thing and and, yep. and we're playing our best brand of football right now uh and and i'm excited uh for this this uh game and uh that's that's what we have tonight coach you have anything else you want to say uh, to the community anything else going on that we need to be aware of uh not that i know of. just friday night obviously is a big game for us but like I said, pre- we're we're very blessed and grateful that my family and I are been welcomed here mm-hmm. into this community, um, and we love and we just we love being a part of Goldthwaite, wearing the black and gold. We, we came yeah. from it was maroon. You don't wear maroon in Lubbock. You mm-hmm. wear black at least, yeah. <laughs> black and red. But yeah, yeah, yeah. we had plenty of black at least in our wardrobe. So, but being part of the black and gold, being part of the tradition, I yes. think that was huge. Is the tradition that people yeah. talk about, and I love it. I think we o- yeah. should always talk about the tradition because that's. The brotherhood of Goldthwaite yeah. is carried on through that. You yeah. know, hopefully their kids will play and my kids, and this just keeps going and growing. And there's a standard. There is. And like you we know? talk about that on defense, you, you got to reach our standard. You know, honestly, we gave up 28 points to Frost real fast. Yeah. Start, quick story. Oh, yeah. I love stories, but um, <laughs> we were excited. I don't ever want to take a win away from kids. It's hard to win football games. Yeah. I don't care what level, who you are. It's just hard to win. You got to be excited. Yeah. But we, we were not too happy about giving up 28 you know that's gave, not our standard gave up some big plays and, yeah. and so our kids you could tell our kids weren't happy either yeah which is 
good thing in the fact of they know like that's not what we do we got to get right. it fixed and so there was some accountability going on awesome. and some things that they knew we need to get fixed and that's what i loved about it. that shows yeah. that we've set a standard of man eh, it's okay we still won't right. know it's more yeah we won but we got to get it fixed because right. we're not here just to give up 20 we're here to shut people out we're here to yeah. be the most physical team and we're here to do this and we got to get it done that's awesome and yeah. if you don't get it done we'll find something that will get it done sure. and so anyways something else that I, I believe i heard on the radio that their defense was lining up a little bit different it seemed like tabo said that they were they were lining about five yards off the uh, ball yeah, i don't I know mean, what they were they, they were just doing coming some, at us yeah. on a full run yeah I mean, they were doing some different things i've never mm-hmm. seen before either um i wasn't going to willing to try it on our end um <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they weren't gonna yeah. try that, but they did some different things. But you know, compliment to our defense, I'll say this: um, we shut down their run game. You know, mm-hmm. our kids. We have probably one of the best front sevens in the district. I told our kids um, we, we took pride in shutting down the run this year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it went for that long run. We'd only given up, I think it was 17 yard rushing. Wow. You know, if it went for that long 80 something yard run sure. that, that he did. But the week before that, we gave up negative 24 yard rushing. Yeah, right. The week Same before that, to San Sab, if it wasn't for those two long runs, exactly. you know, that really good quarterback had on us, we'd given up only 50 yard rushing. I mean, we've sold out to the run and we've mm-hmm. done a great job doing that. But they scored on a screen and go. You know, we just kind of bit on the screen. So sure. it was kind of a trick play a little bit yeah. a draw you know that we never we'd seen once on film but we weren't, weren't too concerned didn't think they were going to get into it much um and it's then they great. had to throw yeah. him the ball so i mean they, what we do what we've done really good defensively and our kids take pride of we've taken away things that the de- the offense really is good at yes what their right. offense is good at we've taken it away yes, sir. and we forced them to have to do things and to score in different ways that they're not used to right. and our kids are taking pride in that that's and great. then that's just part of football though we're going to get that's a compliment i feel like to us is that yeah. they have yeah. to do different things that they don't want to do in order to get yards and score on us. So instead of just, well, our base play is run power, and we can run power for any yards we want because you aren't mm-hmm. very good. No, we're going to take that away. Good yeah. luck. You better find yeah. some other way to score against us because sure. we will not allow you to run the football. There you go. So yeah. anyways. What's your third or fourth option? now? Because the first one or two aren't. Yeah, we're going to take it all away yeah. until you yeah. figure it out. And so anyways, proud yes. for our kids. Kudos um, to y'all. Yeah. Well, but, another thing uh, Travis made mention that we need to talk about is cross country. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, you know, like I said, we ain't got school this Friday yes. or Monday. And – uh the boys and girls cross country regional meet is in uh, Corpus Christi on the twenty first. Oh, yeah. Girls are at eight, boys at eight thirty. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And this past week, the district deal: JV girls, district champs, the varsity girls champs, uh, varsity boys was third. Mm-hmm. Seventh grade, uh, seventh girls were third. Eighth grade, second. Yeah. So, awesome. uh, it's a good showing. Awesome. I was the there. Uh, it was at our place. It was at Goldthwait Golf Course. I didn't get any individual results, but yeah, uh, well, other than Emily. I, I do. Yeah, uh, Emily Vartek won district. Mm-hmm. She's our district champ. Uh, also, um, I think um, Peyton McGee. Yes. Uh, second. No, right I want to say. Yep. Yeah. And so we got one, too. I think we won district going away as, as the girls were. But the boys. There's a lot of competition with them girls. You know, it's talking yeah. about being on Riley. Yeah, Riley Hills uh, rather at the top end, 10. over ton, I mean, against each other and other, you know. Yeah, Maddie Woods there. Yep. Uh, another one, uh, so our guys got s- our third, but we were yes. one point away from second. Second. Oh, gosh. Johnson oh, wow. City beat us by a point. One point. Mm. And so, yeah, still good for, with, yeah I mean, they still them. move to, yeah, to moving to, on to Corpus. And so whenever you leave the game Friday night at Bremont, just go down and vacate and to yeah. Marcus or go to Slitterbond That's, or something. There you go. Then so go on down or send it down here. Go to SeaWorld. Make it a weekend. Saturday. Yeah, there you go. SeaWorld and the, the river walk and then going down to Corpus. Well, what's, what's what we're going to do. We're, we'll be back and go late. We're, I'm going to preach Sunday morning. Um, and then, my, of course, my son is a senior, and he runs cross country. So immediately after service, we're going to head down, head down there. Because, I mean, you got to get there because the race starts at 8. So you're going to have to get you a hotel room. And, if you, and listen, if you want to go, you better start booking uh, your hotel room and get yourself lined up unless you want to leave in the wee hours of the morning. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't know how far Corpus is. about six hours. Yeah. Man, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So it's and our good. region's down there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for track, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes. what it does. Yeah. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, that that's what's going on uh, this weekend. And, and congratulations to the ladies yep. for winning the district championship. Congratulations Definitely. to the boys uh, for yeah. moving on. And uh, sure. I think Jacob Lewis got seventh in our district. Uh, Mason has a really good team. I think their boys had uh, four in the top top five. Mm. Uh, I, I may be oh, making wow. that up, but they're really strong. And so uh, that, that that's going on uh, this this weekend, or, or moving into this weekend. So a big big weekend in sports, starting Thursday night, moving into Friday, and then uh, again moving into the weekend where Monday we have school off Friday and Monday, 
and we will be in Corpus uh, to support our our, our Ghost Wade Eagles Monday. Monday morning. So that's all we got tonight, guys. Thank you all for coming yeah, out and listening to us. This is the 13th of, of October, and, mm-hmm. and so this is our about our 19th, 18th, 19th podcast. And we have a wonderful guest. Thank you, Coach. Hey, thank you all for having me. Appreciate yeah, this it, This was man. fun. This was awesome. Yeah. We'll, we'll have you back. Yeah, I'd love so, to. Listen, what we need you it. to do is email the show at gwayguys at yahoo.com or – uh, or you can go down to Facebook and, and give us a comment. Just give us positive stuff. We don't want any negative stuff. I mean, we just don't have time for it. Yeah. And it's all about the community <laughs> and what we're trying to do here. And uh, and, and so uh, you can connect. I'm going to talk smack regardless. Yeah. So, yeah. Man, yeah. You can connect you with the show. Pick on somebody, pick on me. Um, <laughs> you can listen to yeah. the show on YouTube or Spotify. We have, again, we're about a, still at the same amount of subscribers. So if you like the show, subscribe. And then share the show, uh, the show on Facebook. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. <laughs> yes. Tell your family. Tell your mom. Yes. Tell your dad. Uh, tell everybody. So. Stock up on toilet paper. We're going to get Landers' house this year. Oh, gosh. There we, there go. we go. No. <laughs> Sorry, Coach. I don't know where I live. <laughs> no, yeah, right. you can't. Everybody knows where I live. I live on the corner there of Hannah Valley. It's oh. like everybody sees me. Yeah. Uh, I see but, my kids peeing in the yard. Yeah. That happens more than once. So. Yeah, they're boys, and that's what should that's happen. That's right. Goes. They do. They they you couldn't there. do that in Lubbock. Out that's here, they're right. just like, this is awesome, Dad. I'm like, yeah, yeah this, but, you're eight, but when you're 18, you can't do that. When, now, when so. I got on the back porch to do that, somebody <laughs> drove, I took my wife. I said, nobody drives by. Nobody's drove by like three hours. As soon as I walk outside there. Somebody's yeah. driving by, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but he does it in my back porch. Like, no, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Hey, uh, y'all have a good evening. We will see you and go. Go Eagles. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. That was fun.